Welcome to the Celiac Diva! Today's episode is brought to you by The Gluten-Free Bar. For more information about their bars that are made in a dedicated gluten-free facility, check out the link below. Now, onto the episode! Hi everybody, welcome to the Celiac Diva Show. I'm your hostess, Lauren Lucille, and today I'm shooting a You Pick It and I Film It segment. And so on Facebook, I gave you a couple of options, and your first choice was for me to rock and roll about share what, you know, not so obvious symptoms of celiac disease would be. You know, everybody's body reacts completely different. And I love that as we're going along, we're blowing the lid off of what a typical celiac can be because I believe that's gonna lead to more people being diagnosed. So you can be completely overweight because your body reacted to um, celiac disease by slowing your metabolism to that of like a turtle. You know, so I mean, so you could be completely overweight or because it completely messed up your thyroid. So you could be severely overweight, you know, obese and have celiac disease. So the whole myth of underweight people being the only people who have celiac disease it's not true anymore I mean it's never been true but it's you know being exposed that that is not a typical case anymore so not so common symptoms of celiac disease costochondritis huge one for me five years costochondritis is an inflammation of the cartilage in between the ribs it's a pain right here it hurts when you sit it hurts when you breathe when you laugh when you move when you cough all that kind of stuff headaches are another common uh, huge symptom anemia I've got some written down right here cholesterol imbalances Okay, so PMS, um, altered sex drives, um, <clears throat> a lot of menstrual problems. So, I mean, kind of here's the deal. It's like your body, if it's got this autoimmune disease and it's doing the best it can to survive under the attack that is going on inside of you. So, you know, something something's gonna give, you know? And Dr. Vicki Peterson in her book, The Gluten Effect, she was the one who said something's gotta give. So I'll put that link to her book up there. It's great about saying, you know, why certain symptoms manifest, them, manifest themselves uh, as a result of celiac disease. So something's gotta give in your body, and sometimes it's your sex hormones hormones or your adrenal glands you know so you're gonna get imbalances in part of your body because of that so okay here we go IBS oh my goodness I, I cannot tell you how many people have said I have IBS and they found out actually nope I have celiac disease ah so IBS if you've been told that you have irritable bowel syndrome I think it should be like I think every GI in the world should immediately test um, or be open to testing their patients for celiac disease if they even remotely think they have IBS. Mouth, sol mouth ulcers, canker sores, that kind of stuff around the mouth, that's definitely a symptom of celiac disease. That's, here we go. Um, okay, fatigue, um, that's a huge one. A lot of people, if you just don't feel right, um, that's a huge symptom of celiac disease. And so we've got nausea is another one. Seizures are another one. Seizures are another not as common um, um symptom that is talked about celiac disease so if you have seizures whether they're big seizures or small seizures those are a symptom of celiac disease as well could they be a symptom of something else absolutely yes 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 i'm not saying that these are not all mutually excuse exclusive to celiac disease but that is a symptom of many patients who have celiac disease that is not as well known you have insomnia oh man i don't think i slept for five years <laughs> so insomnia is a big one. I mean, when you have deficiencies, your body has a really hard time sleeping. I mean, memory loss is another one. Um, there's definitely, you know, gluten definitely can affect the brain. Psoriasis, eczema, depression. Wow, depression is a huge one that I feel like is overlooked. I would love it if people who had depression, behavioral disorders, anxiety, anger, mood swings, when you're like, there is just something emotionally in me that it is not right. Whenever that happens, I would, I just, I pray that people get tested for celiac disease or gluten should be looked at as a culprit for that. So, um, da -da 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 -da. okay, I don't know why I always do that. Oh yeah, neuropathy, um, neuropathy, nah, nerve damage, okay. Uh, tingling in the hands, tingling in the rib cage, uh, tingling in the feet and the legs, twitching in the calves, um, feeling like almost like it's kind of cold or numb, like you can't really feel it, uh, losing feeling alongside of your face, um, tingling, shooting pains, um, any type of neuropathy, 
uh, uh, feet going numb, all that kind of stuff, totally, some, those are all symptoms of celiac disease. So, and basically they're manifesting themselves that way in your limbs most often. Uh, for me, it went all the way up into my rib cage. Everything got numb and it's crazy, but because of um, mineral deficient, vitamin and mineral deficiencies. And then uh, arthritis, big one. If you've been told that you have arthritis, please look into gluten being a culprit for that. Please, please, please. I have um, heard from so many people, and maybe not for everybody, that's not what I'm saying, but from so many people who had arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, that gluten was actually the culprit of that. And they're doing arthritis, joint pain, all that kind of stuff, fluid retention, infertility, that's a big one that um, I would love to see OBGYNs when they have women who are having infertility, like just rule out celiac disease and, and gluten being the culprit because it causes a lot of women to have infertility and, you know, lose their precious little ones too soon. So, um, okay, and then I think that's about it. Okay, here's the deal. If you have a symptom that I haven't named in this two-hour segment, <laughs> um, please leave it below, you know, share it, you know, when... That's how we're gonna get other people diagnosed is by sharing our symptoms with people and letting them know what the face of celiac disease was for us or the face of gluten intolerance was for you or the face of a gluten allergy was for you or a wheat allergy or you know how getting off gluten helped you with your, your precious kids who have autism or who have ADD or ADHD. You know, share your stories with everybody. We want to expose all the faces of celiac disease. All right, everybody, so if you have a symptom that I didn't list, please, you know, dish it. Put it below. Let us know what it is. Have a fantastic gluten-free day, and I'll talk to you next time.